So with the delusion. We didn't have any other choice. Don't feel bad, you guys. You were only following my orders. This is entirely on me. Asahi. <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what my poor life choices have done to the world outside.
It's all back to the way it should be. Yeah. Every last trace of the delusion is... gone. It's been totally nullified. <sighs> Y'all did good. Who the... I was gonna knock you flat on your asses, but I figure I won't. To thank you for taking care of the delusion. Freedom fighters! Still, can't say I expected that you guys would get here and take out the big nasty before we even had the chance. First of all, don't pin this on them. Nullifying the delusion was my call. Mine and mine alone. <laughs> Why the hell are you here anyway? Seems like someone's a few pages back in their class reading. To destroy the delusion. Doi. You beat us to it. We came as soon as we realized the entrance had appeared. Who was the real deluser this time? The source of the delusion? The Bonnie to my Clyde figured it out in no time. Crazy enough turned out to be the president of a big old appliance manufacturer. Real successful one, too. Ain't human greed something? No matter how well off somebody might be, they always want more, more, more. We rushed straight over once we gave them a little shakedown, but you beat us to the punch. So that's why the door appeared. The Deluser was at Hahabu then. An ambulance. Well now, it seems your ride is here. How nice of you to make preparations in advance. <laughs> what are you yapping on about? Did you hear? There was a jumper on Showa Street. Seriously? Like a suicide attempt? Come on, get with it. It's all over Quipper. A jumper? Oh no. You don't think... Everyone take a look at this. Man jumps onto roadway at Showa Street. Appears to be around 50 years old. What? I have this bad feeling. It's him. It's Hahabu. No. No, it can't be. It sounds like he got hit by a truck. A big one. All because I... Real sad, but it don't matter none. Akihabara's back to the way it ought to be. Yeah, we looked into the guy. Hajime Hahabu. Prez of Hahabu Electronics. Poor guy's business was failing, he was near bankrupt, and his wife and kid had left him. Already on the brink. Then the electronics delusion whooshed on in, and all of a sudden his fortune turned around, back in high spirits. But now that the delusion's gone... Yep, all that's out the window. And so's he. With the delusion destroyed, the electronics boom that saved him never happened. So his life went back to the way it was beforehand. Which led to, well, this, I guess. That's terrible, though. It's the way things were meant to be. That other life of his wasn't real. He was just playing make-believe. You have no right to say that. Why? Because I'll hurt his dead feelings? Because I'll hurt yours? Don't matter none. We're still gonna do what we do. It's for Akihabara. It's all for Akihabara. So because of us... Not us. Me. I'm the one who ordered you all to fight the Grand Phantasm. That's right, Asahi. It's all your fault the delusion has been destroyed. <laughs> you destroyed it. And in doing so, you've completely changed the course of someone's life. A delusion was spawned by somebody successful. But delusions don't discriminate. And this one here saved the life of somebody who wasn't successful. Fortunate and unfortunate alike are affected by these fantasies. That's the way delusion is. They save some folks, make other folks shine. But we keep on fighting them. Why, you ask? <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it? We're the Akihabara Freedom Fighters. That's the whole reason we exist. <laughs>